and welcome to RSNA 2021. My name is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AntMini.com. One of the big stories here in McCormick Place has been photon counting CT. And we're pleased to have one of the earliest pioneers of photon counting uh, CT with us, Dr. Cynthia McCullough of Mayo Clinic in uh, Rochester, Minnesota. Dr. Uh, Dr. McCullough, thanks for being with us. It is a pleasure to have a chance to talk to you, and it is a pleasure to be back here in Chicago. Isn't it? It's it great really to be is. back. It's great to be back. So, uh, photon counting CT is something that you've been working for, we're working on for a long time, but I think that a lot of our members who are more familiar with traditional CT may not be familiar with it. Now, the reason that it's, it's so important right now is the FDA a couple of months ago cleared the first commercial photon counting CT scanner uh, from Siemens uh, Health and Ears, and so we may start seeing photon counting CT in, uh, in, in the clinic, or it, you know, well, it's been, with, you've, you've had one for a while, but we may see it distributed much more widely in the near future. Can you talk a little bit about photon counting CT and what exactly it is? Okay, sure, happy to. So the CT that we've known for the last 50 years, the x-rays have to get detected. And the detector technology that has been used for the entire time has a two-step process. First, the x-rays are turned into visible light. Then the visible light is turned into uh, electrons. And that process, we lose information. We get some blurring. It, uh, it also loses all the energy information. There is another process that's a one-step process. And it has been, out, been around for many years where it actually clocks in and measures every photon. And it goes right from photon to electron. So it holds on to that energy information. And it also has some things that let us have better spatial resolution. But the problem is, there's a lot of photons in CT and they come at the detector really fast. And so it has taken years of development to get a detector technology that is fast enough to handle CT. And that is where we are now in the technology that we have we've achieved that. Okay, and how long have you been working with uh, photon counting CT at Mayo Clinic? We have been an industry uh, collaborator with Siemens for about 17 years. And in some of the NIH work that I do, we really wanted to go after very, very small blood vessels and plaques. These are the blood vessels inside of blood vessels. And as we talked and uh, they shared with us that this technology was on their long-term, can we make it? Uh, we started talking together and so the first prototype of the system came to Mayo in 2014. Um, we'd been talking about it for a while because I had an NIH grant by that time as yeah. well. And so our first patient was scanned in 2015. And we are on now the um, third scanner, Fulton County scanner. Third generation. Uh -huh. Third generation. Um, and I, I looked at our stats over the weekend and we are over 900 patients that we've scanned. Wow, okay. Before it was FDA cleared, so yeah. under research, yeah. um, across these generations to help give the engineers the feedback of what, what needed to be done. Yeah, So the, and these are, real, these are real patients that are being scanned with this technology, correct? Absolutely. And, and you've found that, that referring physicians have been pretty pleased with the quality of images that this is delivering? Yes. Now, uh, I want to clarify that these patients that we've been scanning have been under research protocol. So they need their clinical scan done on a conventional scanner. And that's the scan that makes their clinical diagnosis. The photon County scan is a research scan. But once the news about the FDA clearance got out and people realized within our clinic that we had this, um, we started getting calls from clinicians and from mm. radiologists very quickly. Mm. Okay, now that it's approved, I want my patient, I want my patient. So we're having to uh, triage what exams we put on that scanner. Okay. Now, what, what are some of the biggest benefits that you see to photon counting CT? There's, there's a handful of ones that, that are, are just really uh, foundational. One of them is you don't get electronic noise. So in thick body parts, like the shoulders, you don't get streaks. So that's, and at low doses, like screening exams, you stay away from the electronic noise. So that's a really strong one. The other is that the iodine is brighter. 
the other type of detectors, the scintillating detectors, sort of downweighted the photons that carried the most iodine information. And with photon counting, they give, uh, are given equal weighting, and so they actually pop up so we can use either less radiation dose or less iodine dose. The big one that most of our docs are excited about because it's the most obvious at first blush is the spatial resolution. Mm, okay. We are seeing things we didn't see before. Yeah. Um, our inner ear, uh, cochlear implant docs, um, vascular docs, lung, thoracic, they're seeing resolution that wasn't there before. So it's 0.2 millimeter slice wow. thickness. Wow. Um, and then everything that is scanned on it is spectral. Dual energy, there's actually four thresholds, so at some point it's going to be more than two. And so now there's no compromise that you have to, can we do dual energy for these type of scans? And one of the big impacts is on the dual source system that Siemens has, you had 66 milliseconds cardiac resolution, super fast. If you wanted dual energy cardiac, you have to slow it down by factor two. You have to give up something. That doesn't happen in the scanner. Yeah. So now we can do dual energy cardiac at that high tempo resolution. And then I guess lastly, whether it's new contrast media or other new applications, um, I think it's going to, again, give an opportunity for people to invent and reinvigorate. Yeah, yeah. Every time we improve something in CT, new things. Like spiral, multi-detector right. row, you know, you name it. So it's going to be really exciting to see where this goes in the future. I agree. Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for explaining what uh, photon counting CT is. And we look forward to more research coming out of Mayo in the future. All right. Thanks so much, Brian. All right. Signing off for AntMini.com. My name is Brian Casey.